All right, now we're talking. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's VMP here. Welcome back to a little more of Nova Atis, the adventures of old man Cerny Banders. Uh, today we're starting out this one with a little uh, class up, shall we say. You've gained more and more power and prestige. The lords keep track of you. Welcome to the bourgeoisie. Oh, man. All right, so that just happened um, because the guild hall in Zendar that we so kindly er, uh, donated a bunch of money to just ranked up to the second level, which gave us 200 prestige. So now we're sitting uh, pretty good. We're actually at 993. <laughs> we only need 200 more to rank up again. So we're, we're still in the middle class. Do not hold any titles. You've entered a class of self-employed businessmen. Uh, one of the merchants in a class with a good outlook. Fight harder, gather money, and the upper class welcomes you. So I'm, hmm. That makes it sound like, uh, in the next rank up, we might be entering the upper class. I don't remember. So I think, I think there's a few upper class ones that we can get into, and then you become nobility after that. Now, admittedly, you can just skip all those steps by just becoming a lord early on, and then you I mean, you could become a lord as a, you know, a fucking journeyman, as a peasant, and immediately jump, you know, you know, all the way through lower, middle, and upper class. But we're at least going to get into upper class before we uh, become a lord. Anyhow, today, what are we doing? Well, last episode, we did a little adventure down to the New World. Um, met with uh, uh, mixed results. I'm not sure the natives are a fan of us. I'm not sure we treated them too great. But in all fairness, uh, they got back at us by killing us about 40 times in that jungle by their stupid hidden spikes. Um... Holy shit, those were annoying. And they were very well hidden. There were several times where I died, I was like, no. No fucking way. I was looking. I was looking and there was nothing there. And I'd go back and expect it even closer, zoom in a little bit. It's like, god damn it, there were spikes. <laughs> I'm just an idiot. Anyhow, today, uh, you guys have been telling me. So our first uh, enterprise over here, our, uh, our winery, the... Uh, Oh, fuck, what are we calling it? Yeah, 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 where we're producing the working glass, the wine for the other 99%. That didn't go so well. I mean, we're making money on it, technically. Let's look at this, actually. We're making money on it. 670, we're not making 677 on that a week. Most I've ever seen is like 400. That's overstating things. But we spent a lot of money to be only making that little. So, instead, we are going to start a second enterprise over here, and I believe it can be something different. So, if we go to the guild hall, talk to this guild master. Hopefully the other ones don't mind us uh, kind of cheating on them just a little bit. Uh, okay. So, this is what I should have done before. You can ask before you try to start an enterprise or before you choose what area you're going to specialize into. Can you provide me with the financial information about enterprises here? So, you got to pay 75 florins. Whatever. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Okay, yeah. So, you can only start one. Okay. So we're going to ask specifically about this one, a blacksmith, because that's what I'm interested in. So, the profit is 470 florins a week. That is outstanding, because the profit on the winery was negative 200 some when we started it. Uh, so this one is almost making more money without any upgrades than our winery does at full upgrade capacity. So that's great. Also, this is <laughs> the blacksmith is very nice because it produces tools for us. And we're not getting into it quite yet this series, but we will soon. Building a colony requires dumb amounts of tools. Dumb amounts of tools, stone, and timber. The stone and timber we can collect like limitless amounts at forests and mines. But this shit right here, the tools, that's the real limiting factor. So I want to get this up and running before next weekend when we're going to be having a live stream of this. Uh, I, right now, I'm thinking Saturday afternoon, okay? Saturday, Saturday afternoon, we're going to be live streaming a little bit of Nova Atis, hopefully grinding on whatever colony we decide to set up. And then possibly if that goes well, we'll do it again Sunday. So anyhow, we are going to go ahead and, yep, all right, become an apprentice. We want to do blacksmith, crafting, 375, yes, I am ready, boom, boom, boom. Okay, so this is going to be the same deal as last time. I'm not going to show a ton of it. But basically, you just have to come in and work. Here's the blacksmith. Nice, nice. The secondary thing that's uh, nice about the blacksmiths is that you can actually craft weapons and armor here. It does require having a certain level of craftsmanship, I believe. I don't know how high we need to take this. But considering our agility is only a six. Fuck, I didn't realize this was an agility skill when I first looked at it. Mmm. 
Hmm. <laughs> then um, that might be a problem because uh, <laughs> um, the armor that I want to make, the best armor in the game, I'm assuming is going to require a little more than two craftsmanship. I didn't realize that. Oh well. Uh, we did level up twice because I've been doing a ton of tournaments in between episodes. Bought ourselves another mansion. Bought ourselves a nice masterwork light crossbow that we can use on horseback. Oh, uh, that's going to be obsolete in the next episode or two when we uh, when I'm planning on going hunting and getting ourselves some firearms. But we're going to spend at least one episode on this considering it cost me like 10k. I think it was over 10k actually. Alright, so leveling up all the healing stats. Getting our pathfinding a little higher. Um, as soon as we catch pathfinding up to these, we're going to start doing some inventory management for sure. As uh, one of you guys mentioned, you're going to want a ton of that for all your trips back and forth to the New World and Zendar with all the stone, timber, and etc. Uh, Anthony S.A. Had a, had a decent idea where in some mods you can store, like your your heroes have their own uh, equipment. Um, not their own equipment. They can hold their own loot. Unfortunately, this is not one of those mods. But if they had been able to, that would have been sick that we could have just dumped like, you know, 40 timber in each one of their slots and just had them carry that all the way to the new world for us. But no, we cannot do that, unfortunately. All right. Anyhow, uh, I will go ahead and run around, maybe try to get into a few fights, make a little more cash while we're uh, showing up to work every day to clock in. That's how I'm feeling in, uh, you know, in real life right now, man. I have worked, uh, what is this now? Eight eight of the net last nine days your boy's getting a little tired that's why i didn't have an episode out for you guys yesterday um that and uh when i got back from work yesterday it was the the ufc event was still going on ufc 241 and holy shit that was a banger the last three fights were all great started the, the third from final fight you had the the two juiciest fighters in the ufc oh what the hell an eastern threat oh the hordes coming in Rumors about a warrior who united a great number of tribes into a large empire. Rumors about undefeated armies raising towns to the ground, plundering great centers of trade, and rumors about slaughtered people who resisted. It is time to think about our own position. Are we united enough to stop such a threat from outside of Calradia? Yeah, not yet. Not yet. So that's talking about the Turgon Horde over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, they're not here yet, though. Not here yet. But yeah, Paulo Costa and uh, Yol Romero, those dudes are so roided up, or at least they look like it. Yol Romero's 42 years old, and he has the most ridiculous body I've ever seen. And then Paulo Costa looks like uh, like a Brazilian Hercules. I remember I, I had like a, I had a you know, potentially illegal stream up, up of it during at the end of work, and uh, some of the girls came by to like watch what was going on. And they saw those two fighting and were like, holy fuck, I need to watch more UFC. <laughs> uh all right, anyways, I'll be back in a sec. Okay, that was almost little to no turnaround on that. It was like a couple days later. The Turgon Horde invades. An invasion, an invasion. Stories of an eastern danger have arrived at your court. They tell you about an eastern warlord named Turgon Tervat Khan, who has invaded Calradia via the eastern borders. <clears throat> he brings a legacy of conquest that cannot be ignored. Travelers tell us all the lands east of Calradia have become conquered by these warriors. It is easy to become comfortable with the enemies you know, our familiar foes. But to discount the menace, the menaces that lurk beyond the known world is to risk a rude awakening. The bulk of the Turgon forces have arrived at Asugan Castle, a place now better known as the Broken Gate of the Western World. Oh no. Turgon Horde has declared war on the Serenids and the Kurgits. And they came in hot. Like a wrecking ball. Holy shit. All right. So now there is a, it's by a Sugan castle, right? I want to say, isn't there, I swear there's a way to get over there to Kartand. I don't remember through which way just opened up. But yeah, they took over Bari, Tolgar, and Narma. And several castles, looks like four castles as well. Yeah, Turgon Horde is nothing to be fucked around with. Uh, they have huge armies to start the game out. It's kind of like the Targaryen invasion or the Xan invasion. Um, from a world of ice and fire and uh, Perizno, respectively, not quite as powerful as uh, the Zan invasion. The Zan invasion is a whole, <laughs> whole fucking different game. But man, all right. I also need to remember to keep on praying more when we come in. Uh, I've been kind of forgetting. I've been sort of doing it. We're up to like 15 piety, I think, something like that. Um, so we did actually get our first charisma point. I want to say, yeah, we got a first point in charisma because that was at nine. So that's nice. That's actually, yeah, that's okay. 
Uh, also, scoop up the points. We've never used a firearm before, and we already got 112 proficiency proficiency with it. When they get invented, oh boy, he is gonna be great with them. <laughs> uh, all right, I want to pray. Uh, shalom, 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 shalom. Mazel tov. I need to start looking up more Jewish phrases. That's, that's all I know is Mazel Tov and, and Shalom. <laughs> I need to start looking up more. <laughs> Alright, uh, I think that's... Tell you what, we'll wait one more day. We'll wait one more day, then we'll go in there. Um, just because last time it was really fucking annoying to have to uh, continue spamming, creating our masterpiece, and failing at it. I, I don't do well with failure. <laughs> Oh, there we go. Weekly budget coming in. Yeah, that okay. See, that's what I thought. Our wine press makes us 400 a week. But thanks to that uh, new mansion we just got, we're up to 2,800 a week. And we just earned, I didn't even see how many uh, prestige points that was. But we're net profiting 2K a week. That's awesome. Of course, we lose the five prestige. I gotta love that. Got 10 prestige points due to profit. Nice. Very nice, actually. So is it one per 200? I think it might be one per 200 that you uh, profit. Not 100% sure on that. So we actually gain five prestige points. That's not too bad. Still, until we get our profits up a lot, the majority of our prestige is going to be gotten through uh, buying property and upgrading the guild halls. All right. Here we go. Should be enough now. Um, oh, fuck. I didn't. <laughs> it's been too short. Uh, another Jewish phrase. Mm, nom, 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 nom. Uh... Oy vey? Is that... Is that Jewish, even? Fuck, I have no idea. Alright, mazel tov. Out we go! Okay, workplace, here we go. <laughs> uh, Alright, that should be enough. Let's uh, let's head over to the guild hall. <clears throat> I'm gonna have to start doing Google Translate into a... Wait, is Jewish even a language? I know they have their own language, but is it called Jewish? Is it called, like, Yiddish? Or something like that? Am I completely... I might be sounding like the biggest fucking dumbass right now. Okay, 15% chance. That's good enough for me. Let's try it, baby. Oh my... First try! Oh! It is a wonder! Never before has mankind created such a great wonder. The guild is delighted to welcome you and your skills. You may call yourself a master now. Oh my god. This was our true calling. Little do they know, we have, uh... Not much in the way of uh, natural ability with a with an agility score of six. Uh, masterwork tool. Mm. I mean, does that even? It's masterwork tool. It's not even masterwork tools. I don't think you need this. I think you just sell this. Yeah. Masterwork tool, aka <laughs> what I was in high school. Hey yo. All right. Um. Hmm, do we, how much money do we have, 6k, is that enough to open up, that might not even be enough to open up, uh, the blacksmith, uh, how much do I have to earn, mm-hmm, whoa, all of a sudden it's making negative 180, what, what the fuck happened? Was that other number what it earns when it's fully maxed out, upgraded? The plus 500? Damn, man, I feel like we're getting ripped off. I mean, at least this one has other benefits for us. Um, making, you know, uh, tools for us for our colony. And giving us the ability to craft armors and weapons, like legendary armor and weapons. But Jesus, I feel like I'm getting ripped off here. Alright, let's go find a fight. Okay, so we just won a tournament. Uh... And one, I think, bets on five out of the six rounds. So we're actually, we actually have enough cash right now. But then I saw this group of noble herdsmen. Um, don't know what these units are, but they sound pretty good. There's 19 of them, so it should be a decent challenge here. And, uh, you know, yeah, we're just going to see what happens. Right, let's tell our infantry to charge in, because I believe that's the only infantry we have are our heroes. So I don't care if they get knocked the fuck out. <laughs> that's fine. Um... I did want to actually try out this new uh, new Masterwork Light Crossbow. This thing does a lot more damage than the old one. I'll actually try to remember to show you guys after this battle. Show you the difference. Basically, the stats are identical, except this one does like... I don't know. 30 to 40% more damage on paper. That's what it says it does. What are these guys doing? Charging in? We're doing this thing? Oh, get one tap. Wait. 
Oh shit, these guys aren't that tough. 56 damage, only worth 140, 114 XP, sorry. Oh, the flick! Oh! Kid absolutely wrecked. Editor, put, it, put that on my montage. I'm just kidding, I don't have an editor. <laughs> I'm too broke to afford an editor. I don't know, it always, I don't know, it strikes me as so wild. I, I see channels, you know, looking for editors to hire, and they, they pay them, you know, decent money. When, the, you know, and these are, like, relatively small channels. I mean, maybe they're just seeing it as an investment, but, like, you know, how much they're paying these editors to, you know, just take their footage and make it into videos, it's like, there's no way they're making that much money. The video gets, like, you know, maybe a couple thousand views. You're not making, I don't know. How much they're paying these editors at least like what 20 bucks for a video 20 bucks for like uh, a couple hours of work there's no way they're making that much hmm. i don't know maybe they're smart maybe they know something i don't probably do probably do hey we've <laughs> we've been on the been on youtube for what uh like six seven years now <laughs> and we're uh we're not exactly a huge channel so although to be fair it's not like we're uh, playing a uh very huge popular game either very very niche niche but loyal audience here for mountain blade but maybe hey maybe when bandlord comes out we'll see some some things happen it would also probably help if i uh you know didn't take like month two month long breaks where i only upload like maybe once a week <laughs> that would probably also help all right we're doing pretty good here doing pretty good I mean, I don't know why I'm scared of these guys. They don't exactly do a ton of damage. Our armor is actually really good now, as we noticed when we were going up against the Aztuics. They aren't really doing too much to us, except for their traps. Except for their traps, where you so much as step on them, it's like a Lego on steroids, you just insta-die. It's over. 220 damage. Bop! Alright, alright. Noise. Come here. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'll be honest, I was kind of hoping for a little more from this crossbow. Because it seriously does so much, like, its stats are so much better. I don't remember exactly what it is, but I believe it's like 37 to 49 damage. I thought this would do so much more, but it's only doing 50 damage a headshot. I don't know. I mean, I know we only have a weapon proficiency of 147 with it so far, but I don't know. thought it'd be better. We're definitely not going to get this thing crazy strong before we before we get a gun, because I'm serious. We're going to do that probably next episode, if not the the one after. All right, good stuff. Ooh, a couple of manhunters. Always we'll take that. We got our army of uh, guys that just knock people out. And then we try to reform them, try to tell them to be better. That is the Bernie or the Cerny Banders way. Kind of like uh, I don't know if you guys saw, but uh, earlier today he released his. Uh, it was actually a pretty fucking long document. I uh, tried to read like a summary, and even the summary was several pages long. Basically, his uh, his justice reform, prison reform uh, policies, and it was like, holy shit, man! Like, <laughs> you did some fucking thinking about this. It, it's it's long. Like, it's not just like, oh, her to dirty dur. Let's get rid of private prisons. It's like, no, no, no. How about we have section one? through 17 with points a through h on each one of them of like different things and that we're going to change is like oh my god i still need i'll be honest i need to like take a second look at it and really break it down and look at it but i don't know things i were things i was seeing were, were pretty good i mean that is something that's pretty fucked up here <gasps> yes we got a fucking good trait for once trustworthy generally we'll choose the path of honesty and righteousness yes yes plus 10 percent Town income from Vassal, negative 1% craftsman per per week? What? I, I think this is good. Oh my god. So, so I think it's working out. Because if you guys didn't notice, I have a actual a decent variety of food. Well, mm, kind of a decent variety. We have bread, cabbage. Oops. We'll just get rid of that. Okay, so there's bread and cabbage, but in terms of drinks, you have your option of dirty water, clean water, well-made ale, strong ale, and wine. So yeah, I think that's uh, that's a good thing. <laughs> uh, I'll be oh under siege. Wait, by who? Who's sieging it? Who's sieging this down right now? What? Nobody. 
Nobody's besieging it. Huh. I don't think they're at war with the Turgon Horde, so it's not those guys, at least. That's the only one I really want to see. Oh, yeah, so here we go. Hunting Crossbow, 37 piercing damage. This one, 49 piercing damage. And this one's only one point of speed slower. But 12 extra piercing damage, I thought this thing would be definitely at least a one-shot to the head. You know what I mean? At least a one-shot to the head. Oh, my God, 5,000 for exquisite tools. This is why we're making the blacksmith. Because we're not trying to pay 5,000 for tools, okay? That's not happening. Um... What else can we get? Let's get some cheese. Some grapes. Fine flour. Sure. Large bag of, of flour. Hell yeah. More cabbages. Cool. I'll do it. Yeah, we really need some inventory management. <laughs> that, uh... We're close to leveling up again? Yeah, we're pretty close. Only 4k more XP. Alright, anyhow. Keep on trucking. Keep on trucking. We're, we're going to Jell Cow. Alright. Head over that way. Open up this, uh... Oh, fuck, this blacksmith. I don't know. Who are these guys? Rodok Elite Spearman, huh? Hmm. I'm intrigued. <laughs> Alright. Uh, let's see what we can do here. Mm-hmm. Have our uh, heroes charge in. They occasionally get a few kills. It's not always great, but they occasionally get a few kills. It, I mean, when the enemy overwhelms them, it's, uh, I mean, it's to be expected that they're gonna get wrecked. But what do we got? We got... Six heroes? Is that right? Six heroes. Are we sure one of these guys isn't just a normal person? Wait, am I counted in the six heroes? Or in the six infantry? That might be what's going on. Alright, stop yelling. Pipe it down. See? 38 damage to the head. That's the, basically the same amount that a light crossbow is doing. What the fuck is this? Alright, 48. That's a little bit better. Significantly better. Interesting. I mean, God, P troops in this mod have so have so little HP. What the fuck? Okay, so hold up. We hit one of them for 48 damage. It one-tapped them. We hit another one for 49 damage, and it did not. Do these troops have varying amounts of HP? Is that a thing? It should be a thing. That's because, you know, not every single troop or should be exactly the same. They're different people. Did they add that in this mod? Holy f- This guy is insane. I started at the beginning of the series, I said props to the developing team who made this. I was wrong. It's one guy. One guy makes this mod. It's, it's mind-blowing. One guy has done more for Mountain Blade Warband, has added more to Mountain Blade Warband than like Tail Worlds has since its inception. Like, <laughs> it's nuts. This guy needs to get hired, man. Put him on the Bannerlord team. Actually, I take that back. Not right now. Not right now. You know what, Bannerlord? Don't, don't focus, Tail Worlds. Don't focus on adding anything more to Bannerlord. Just get it out. Refine whatever you got in it. Anything that's going to take you a, a, like, a decent amount longer, just fucking scrap it. We want it, man. We just want Bannerlord now, okay? Please, before the end of this year. Before the end of... Well, no, okay. It's August. It's definitely not happening at the end of this year. Before summer 2020. Is that... Is that too much to ask? Is that too much to ask? I was about to say some stupid shit like, uh, I think it will happen before summer of 2020, but I've been saying, <laughs> previously I said, I think it's gonna be the summer of 2018, the fall of 2018, then that rolled by, nope, haven't even got an announcement, 2019 is almost come and gone, haven't even got an announcement on, on the release date, so I'm not even gonna jinx it, I'm not even gonna fucking jinx it by calling when I think it's gonna come out, every time someone calls when Bannerlord is gonna come out, they fucking delay it another week, alright, I swear. Alright, I'm going to keep this up for a little bit, and uh, I'll be back when it's done. This is good uh, good training for our crossbow. Well, that was a little embarrassing. <laughs> uh, Alright, well, I guess let's go back in for round two. Yeah, you guys stay back again. Heroes, go ahead and charge in. Yeah, I really need to start packing uh, an extra... Oh, fuck, they crippled my horse too, I forgot about that. This thing is slow as fuck now. They um really need to remember to carry around an extra quiver of uh, bolts. That way, whenever I run out of bolts, I don't have to try to engage in melee. Because these guys, these guys were smart. They weren't separating out at all. They were just remaining in their clump. And it was it was really fucking hard to try to isolate them one at a time and sneak in for a strike. And eventually, I just got too uh, too impatient. I went in and got fucked. Uh, let's remember to keep on healing ourselves. That is an invaluable skill now that we can use it. 42 hit points. Yeah, that's a, that's a huge recovery. 
I want to actually pay attention to the kill feed this time and uh, see if our heroes can do something with it. What's the uh, command to heal everyone else? Inspire troops. Six. I don't think I can do that yet. I can't do that yet. Yeah. Oh, 22%. I can do that. I didn't think I had enough uh, charisma. We'll take that. Get in there. Who is that? Looks like Dixie. Yeah, Dixie with a kill. Not bad, not bad. They're not even paying attention to him. Uh, Brutus is got a kill for herself. Comrade Louie got a kill. What? What are these guys doing? Oh my god, they're popping off this time. Dixie just got a level up. Alright, Dixie got taken down there. Brutus with another kill. Hippie Jesus getting in there. Getting knocked out. Old Man Harvey getting knocked out. And they're all down. Alright, that was pretty good. That was pretty good. We might have to... We'll definitely have to start investing more in our heroes. A reminder, if you guys want your own subscriber heroes, make sure to tune, tune into uh, whenever I stream. Um, you know... I tend to do a lot of late night live streams where I'm playing like various RPG games, but if that, those aren't up to your style, like I said, next Saturday, this series, Nova Adis, The Adventures of Old Man Cerny Banders, we're going to be live, okay? We're going to get some work done, and I'm hoping to see a lot of you guys there earning your own subscriber heroes. There's a lot of heroes in this mod that we have to recruit, alright? And none of them can complain and like run off, so you guys will be with the party permanently until eventually, I guess, I might make some of you guys lords and ladies. So, you know, that's it. that's its own thing to be happy about. Alright, come on. I'm done with you guys. How did that miss? Uh, Alright, you know what? Everyone just charge in. I've, I've had enough of these guys. Have I leveled up yet? No. Oh, we're so close. These five guys wouldn't be enough anyways, I don't think. We need 800 XP. Oh! Wow, it just might be enough. Alright, never mind. Hey, everybody, hold off. <laughs> I want to see if I can get a level up. Actually, even if uh, we don't get it from these four guys, we should get it just from... Uh... Oh, 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 don't hurt me, don't hurt me, don't hurt me. Can I heal up again? Oh, I can. That thing recovers so fast. Did that actually take away XP for me? I don't think it does. It says it takes away, like, you spent 230 XP. I don't think it does. I think that's... I think they're just BSing you. I almost kind of wish it did, because if it did, you could just get to, as soon as you level up, you spend your ability points, then you hit that thing, you go down a level, because you lost XP, and then rinse and repeat, and uh, you get limit limitless ability points. I've, I think I've tried that every time I've played this mod, and it never works. <laughs> but every time I'm optimistic, I'm like, maybe it'll work this time. Boom. See? So, like, level, level 24... Uh, we'll go intelligence. One, one more. You know, actually, I'm kind of feeling some strength. I'm really feeling some strength, boys. Ah, no, we need the skill points. All right, we'll do three more points. We'll go up to 24 intelligence, then 24 strength. I know I said originally I wasn't planning on hitting 30 strength this series, but like, man, looking at some of those legendary weapons, and I know you guys want to see it. That that supreme old man strength. It might happen. It might happen. Um, tell you what. I'm actually going to put two into inventory management now, this level. I think that's the move. I think that's the move. Good stuff. I mean, loot's not really all that great. But yeah, this will give us, give us a lot more room to work with. Going to have to give that horsey a chance to rest up. Hopefully he doesn't become sway banked or anything like that. Good stuff. Who leveled up? Manhunters. Nice. Dixie, you leveled up. Yes, you did. You did a great job. Some Iron Flash, some One-Handed. He's honestly already got some pretty decent gear. I don't have to work on him too much. Hippie Jesus, I did give him uh, our old mace, so he's using that. His suit has 25 body armor. Impressive. Uh, oh, those boots are horrendous. Here you go. Take this. And uh, helmet, this is better too. And it looks cooler. Okay. Yeah, it looks pretty decent. Well, it looks pretty decent. Uh, good stuff. Uh, whoops, I didn't level you up, though. I think you're, he's our agility guy, agility guy, right? And that's a party skill in this mod. Okay, cool. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that. Alright, onwards. <laughs> Finally completing our the simple goal of this episode of just opening up another enterprise. Um. Do you smell that fresh air, brother? <laughs> I don't know, I just see him, brother, all I can think of is, of like, the memes, just like, hell yeah, brother. <laughs> oh, I 
Kenny, what are you, what are you saying? You left you left in search of coin. Cool, man. Mm -hmm. You hate the SWAT ins? I hate the SWAT ins too. There's some assholes. All right, cool. <laughs> Hell yeah, brother. You damn right, brother. <laughs> Fuck, man. I'm like so sleep deprived. I'm I'm fucking giddy. <laughs> what time is it? Three thirty. Yeah, it's gonna be a late one. Ugh. All right. Um. So I did try looking up some uh, some Jewish phrases, uh, or like using Google Translate, but I forgot, like, it's its own language, like, as in, like, it uses its own characters, and so, like, Google Translate, I was, <laughs> I tried to say some shit like, uh, <laughs> I, I bless your day, and hope you, uh, you see many fine asses or something like that, I was like, alright, translate that for me, Google, and Go Google understandably first rolled its eyes, and then it, and then it did it, and sent it back a bunch of <laughs> strange-ass characters, their own, like, Hebrew letters that I have no idea how to pronounce, I was like, well, I feel like that's what I get. <laughs> alright, thank you, 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 very good, very good. Uh, we should be getting close to another piety level up, right? Let me see. Four more days. Okay, it's so not not that close. All right, let's go. Guild Hall. I forget, how much did it cost to upgrade it fully last time? I think it was it was only a couple thousand. It wasn't too bad. All right, give me that. Here's the money. Boom. Eight k. Oof. Oh, we gotta wait another week for it to even open up, right? Uh... All right. I honestly, I need to go win some more tournaments, make some more cash. I want to buy another. Uh, another mansion this episode um i want to really start getting the money coming in because <laughs> seriously me having to grind and do uh, a shit ton of tournaments before every episode is uh is really hurting <laughs> when uh, i don't even get to start recording until well after midnight it's really hurting my sleep schedule here so the sooner we can just get some passive income going the better oh, what do you got for me where, where do i need to go kara hero selima well we can't get into hero selima but we can get to kara all right, I'll be back in a sec. All right, end of another week. Got our paycheck, and that actually is telling me that uh, the uh, blacksmith is ready now since uh, we're, we are losing 175 a week by operating it. Gotta love it. Uh, as you can see from the money, we did quite well. I won five tournaments? I think it was five tournaments, um, including three of them right here in Jalkel three consecutive days because basically i was sitting here i was happy with the 20k that i had made and then the tournament started i was like sweet i'll win the tournament and then the next day the tournament was still there so i won it a second time and the third day i won it again <laughs> each time getting essentially max money or close to it um so yeah we are doing very well right now let's go to our blacksmith and upgrade this bad boy oh yeah this thing is looking nice now what's up all right, uh, I want to hire more workers. So we're, right now we're at a negative, uh, it says negative 217. It was more than that. Um, all right, let's uh, hire some more. All right, yep, yep. Hire another one. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This is not really helping our net profit. All right, hire another one. Okay. And uh, that's only increasing our net profit by two. Um, at that rate, as long as we were to hire another 100 workers, we uh, might actually be profitable. <laughs> Uh, okay. Now, what we are going to need to do is we're going to need to invest. Let's, uh, alright, daily program for time efficiency. Yeah, okay, okay. Is this just the same thing as before? This is the same thing as before, I think. Uh-huh. 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 How much of that money did I just... Oh my god, this is worse than the winery. This is actually worse than the winery. We are only making a net profit of 50. Holy fuck, man. This is brutal. Oh my god. Alright, I thought the winery was bad. Um. Is there nothing else I can... God. Uh. Revenue is only 3900 a week, huh? Yikes. Alright, well. Guess I'll take it. Let's go over the account. So what's going on right now? Fuck me. That is rough. That is very rough. So does it get any better if we were to fire some people? Not really. No? 
Wow, this is this is awful. All right, well, can I at least craft some shit here? How does this work? Take rough iron rod. <laughs> I'm not even gonna dignify that with a, that's what she said. <laughs> Right, it doesn't appear to have done anything. Blow on fire. Oh my god. <laughs> that is also what she said. <laughs> okay, alright, cool. We're working the bellows a little bit. Forge and ironwork. Oh, what's this? What's this? How are we... Oh my god. What are you doing there? Yo, at least put a hammer in your hand, man. What are you gesturing? Oh my god. This has gotten dirty. Alright, we're out of here. Workshop inventory. What is this? I can't interact with it. How do I craft shit? Chest? Dirty water? And an iron ingot. All right, we'll leave the iron in there in case we ever figure out how to work this. Oh, wait, 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 let's see. Do we, if we put the iron here, can we do this? How do you interact with this shit? Do I need more craft? Oh, 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 whoa, workbench. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. That's what I'm talking about. Crafting skill requirement one to just recruit tools. Okay. And that requires, what, is, what the fuck is that? Like a, just a stick and some, I'm presuming, steel? Estimated profit, 75 floors. Okay, all right, all right, that's not too bad. Oh, okay, mining pickaxe, you can form all this shit. Gotcha, gotcha. Alright, that's not what I'm trying to do. Intermediates. Alright, a handle, sword blade, axe blade, pole arm blade, shit. Okay, alright, I see you. I see you. Okay. Firearm barrel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Swords. Okay, you can form a, you can make a scimitar. Mm, pretty decent weapon. Not, not too bad. Elite scimitar. Yeah, now we're talking. That's actually a very good weapon. Uh, alright, kind of meh, kind of meh, very meh, kind of meh, decent. Oh, now we're talking. Now we're talking. Alright, meh, you know, just kind of okay. Uh, where's some, of the, where's some of the good shit, like the real good shit, you know what I'm saying? I want, like, the, uh, the OP shit. Crafting skill at 2, alright, let's just keep going until we see something like a crafting skill of 40. Alright, now for, oh wait, hold up, somebody just had a 3. Turgon two-handed sword. Meh. Alright, but the crafting skills aren't crazy. We could theoretically invest a few points into into agility, get it up to nine at some point. Oh, whoa, 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 what just happened? Alright, hold up, back up. So first off, craftsmanship of four to make Gladius. Alright, that's pretty decent. And all of a sudden, to make Aether a legendary weapon, a whole lot more requirements, understandably. Crafting skill of ten required, fuck. But look at that. Sixty swing damage. Ugh. Valinir. Not bad. That's a one-handed sword with 57 cutting damage, 106 reach. Oh, man, that's gorgeous. That is gorgeous. Wow. All right, what about, uh, I want armor. Okay, plate armor. 63 and 17 requires 10 crafting. All right, we're not going to be able to do much crafting. In this, I've kind of come to the realization we might be able to we might put a point or two in it just so we can craft tools and that'll be easier um, for when we're building our colony. But there's no way we're getting to 10 crafting, that would require 30 agility, and we're not doing that. Oh, old man, 30 banners ain't that agile, and he never will be that agile. Um, all right, we'll take oh, wait, what that one's just slightly better for whatever reason, costs less but has more armor, no downsides to it. Heraldic armor, yeah, yeah. Okay, heraldic knight armor, now we're getting there. Heraldic king armor, yeah, that's pretty good. Oh, there it is. That's the one. That's the one right there. 270 and 3. I mean, I think these occasionally show up in the shops, so we will have a chance to get them. Even though there's no way for us to ever be able to craft them. Which is unfortunate, but... I mean, it's just not going to happen. So, is there anything else crazy in here? Yeah, I think that's about it. And then, uh, helmets, yeah, that type of stuff. Footwear, bullets, shields, gotcha, gotcha. Alright, well, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Let's, um... I need... Wait, is the pole how we make the tools? How do we make the tools? I don't know. Alright, anyhow, let's uh let's go buy some property and we're gonna call this one an episode. Alright, oh the mansions are pretty cheap right now. Uh under 20k. Boom! Give it to me. Thank you. Rent that boy out. And then another one. Oh, we should have just what am I doing? 
What am I doing? Why didn't I just buy the fucking, uh... Oh, why am I buying two mansions instead of just buying one fucking noble great house? I could have actually afforded it. Ah, I'm an idiot. Alright, well, next time. Next time. Boom. Rent that out as well. It's another 100 prestige points. Well, 200 prestige points. Actually, is that enough to get us up? Yes, indeed. Two rank ups in one episode. Come on. Welcome to the upper class. Let's go. All right, that's a great, great place to end this episode off on. You have entered the upper class. Power and wealth feature this social class consisting of the ambitious people. Consisting of ambitious people. You are now one of the gentry. All right, let's hold up. Let's see the official. Uh, congratulations. You may consider yourself one of the upper class. The gentry, the gentry, gentry? I don't know. Refers to people with a good social position, mostly holding estates, many families of long descent who lever, who lever obtained, what? Who obtained the official right to bear a coat of arms are connected with this class. Nice. Nice. Alright guys, well we're going to wrap it up there. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Uh, next episode, I think we're just going to, we're going to go ahead and bite the bullet and uh, we're going to get ourselves a gun. <laughs> We're going to get ourselves a gun, and we're going to have some fun with that. Continue buying some more land, making more money, all that good stuff. In fact, actually, I'm kind of curious now. How much are we going to... Yeah, that's uh, that's pretty nice right there. That's pretty nice. Um, <laughs> And then, uh, like I said, later this week, right? When this comes out on... Yeah, later this week, uh, Saturday, we're going to live stream this. Come out, uh, come chill. Have some fun. Earn yourself a subscriber hero. But until then, as always... Take it easy, lads.